it went to the police station. Like it was a big deal. Like. Guys, I wrote statements in high school. I mean, I mean, <laughs> stories for my children. Basically, <laughs> people went all get experience for this for high school. Ah, they'll just be coming to school in the morning, going back, doing assignments. Ah, oh, Martina liked extracurricular activity. <laughs> From today's title, we'll be talking about very interesting stuff that have, has happened to us in high school, basically. <laughs> yeah, in high school, and yeah, anything else we can remember, we'll add. So if you're interested in this gist, stick around and yeah, like this video. It'll help. And subscribe. What she said. Period. So first, I want to talk about when I was still in... Um, males. Oh, males. When I was still in um, Bexley Academy. Okay. When I was in Bexley Academy, gosh, I was bullied. I know, like, people who know me that would watch this would be like, ah, Nancy. I don't bully people now, but I'm very opinionated, I'm very firm. So, like, I'm sure people would be like, <gasps> she didn't go to, she was still in, like, I think primary three or four. Actually, I was in um, BJRS. Well, what class were you in? I don't know, maybe basically four. I don't know. Maybe like four, because I did no three, I guess, because I, I didn't think, do primary four. So I think, yeah, I, I was in, four. and when I was in Bexley, I was in um, year seven or GS1, as we fondly call it in Nigeria. I was, ah, there was this small rat, one small girl. Her name was Molly. Hmm. can never forget her. This girl bullied the life out of me. Eh? A whole you. A whole me. Ah! I was the bully. Her parents used to always get called because of her, because my sister was always abusing people. <laughs> oh, let me give you guys this gist. So there was this time when I was still in school, when I still went to UK. So my brother told me this insult. He was like, um, that he left it in school and he calls the person, or someone called someone um, a dim head, I mean, a dick head or something like that. I picked up the insult the next day because somebody annoyed me <laughs> as the Nigeria in me. <laughs> well, dim head. I went on detention. My people waited to sign me. I started making bars yes. and all those things. I can't and forget. They, and they, they, call, they called our parents to school down. What did they call you, Evelyn? Day? Yes, I think so. Like, Evelyn was very rude to a student. This this one, she knew she, her face was strong. Like, as if they gave her a bath to eat. Oh, they know me already. Is it hey, my, of... my, my mom was so ashamed. Like, oh, this girl. Home and abroad. Disgracing me. Steady. <laughs> Steady disgracing me. <laughs> this girl steady disgracing me. Oh, man, I'm proud. When they, my parents spoke to my sister, this girl was never remorseful. In fact, when we all started laughing about it, maybe that's what gave her ginger to be running her mouth. Oh, I went, I went on detention for, you know, about three, four times. But I you was went up to three, four times? Yes, now. Uh -uh, trust me now. You should know. Oh, I went on detention for food because I had to bring food to school. Oh. <laughs> I because was I was rude paying to for my lunch. teacher and her name was, I think, Mrs. Hope that time. Oh, yeah, I remember Mrs. Hope. Oh, and that time. But I was still the girl that people, you know, people really like looking up to. You know that. I dress well. White, Prime Minister, you wear uniform, guy. No, white. Well, when it's time for um, sports, yeah. I'll I'm, wear complete one. They give points for wearing, wearing like good sports I wear. I remember. So when, when our team won, I wasn't around them, but they were supposed to take us swimming and. Um, Cinema basically, so that was it. <laughs> I was that girl. So I remember here, I remember um, in just one basically when I still entered the hostel boarding school. Mm -hmm. And so I was actually first of my sibling when I got there. I didn't really understand what mm -hmm. it was all about. Mm -hmm. And I was hearing different punishment like mm -hmm. Mr. Nice Guy, push the bunk, push the wall, you know, use um, fork to fetch bucket, all these things. I'm just like. Yeah, it can't be me. Was never can't me. be me. But okay. that that's by the way. When I went for meet him, before I went for meet him, one particular senior, I don't want to mention her name, punished me and she told me to do Mr. Nice Guy. I wish I could describe this punishment for you guys. <laughs> it's something like you do like this as a fresh guy. You now put your Comment leg. Comment down below if you know this punishment. You went to body school. Mr. Nice Guy, basically. But I didn't do it. 
And when I, when I finished, I cried. As the body girl that I was, and coming from where I was coming from, I cried. <laughs> when I got home, coming back from the meeting, my mom, my aunt, <laughs> that my aunt, gosh. Oh, I remember this. Mommy actually just told me about this story a few days she ago. She came prepared. <laughs> my auntie came prepared. She, as she entered the hospital, like, who is that senior? <laughs> Who is that senior? I can't forget that day. It was hot. See, you have family members that can fight for you. <laughs> That's why I like my dad. So basically, she, my mom just came. They were screaming. My mom was angry. She explained that these days, they are not, we are not used, used to this to, kind yeah, of she this lifestyle. Said this. In that same space of going back upstairs to drop my things after meet them, the same senior came to meet me. <laughs> so I reported her to my mom. Can you call, can you call that? was said my punishment. I, being the strong head that I am, went back. As I saw my mom going, I ran, you guys. <laughs> Mommy, they want to punish me. Yeah, my mom came back again. It was, hey, hey, she know me now. I started being a weekly, bo- um, weekly border from then, Friday to, to Sunday, most times Monday. That was how I really tried to. <sighs> the funny thing is, when she would come back and be explaining all this, I couldn't relate. I was a day student up until like SS1 or year 10. I, I went in year 10, I think. SS1. Of course, you did. So I, I didn't go through all this whole junior, wahala, all this. Oh, I'm afraid of my. Even when I went there, I was calling even people, the year 12 students by name. So it wasn't a bad experience for me. And I didn't have a lot of mad experiences like this one. Oh, I was the wrong junior for you to bully. <laughs> I was the wrong one. Because, I mean, why would you be bullying? You know, God now blessed me. I had a bully school mother. School mother. <laughs> so it, it doesn't make things you, you want this video? <laughs> Hi, dear. I had the mother that had mouth. So basically, you must have mouth too. <laughs> I mean, I had experiences in, I think, GS2 as well. I think so. Nothing serious, basically. But, hey, you should know Martina now. Martina. Just come and hi. Yeah. Just call our names in us. Um, we went to Honeyland, by the way. Honeyland. So, just call our names. Especially one at Ikbaja. Just call our names. They I know remember, us. I remember this lecturer. Um, Mr. Tonda. I guess that was his name. Yeah. I remember this man. When he first came to this school. Gosh, I'm just like, who is this? <laughs> who is this? He now became assistant hostel master because <laughs> I was in the hostel from GSS1 to SS3, basically. Every time, you were stepping on my toe. <laughs> hey! <laughs> God, no. I was very innocent. I tried to, you know, now grow with sense as I'm entering, you know. But then, different, anytime he sees me, always trying to, you know, say things I didn't do and all of that. I really stayed clear of that man. I just wanted to avoid him. <laughs> he should avoid me too. Remember when I was in GS3, I had this um, vice principal. He was VP that time, Ogunto but that was his name. He told me one time that I was on the assembly ground and I caught eye for him. Caught eye. <laughs> me. So how old was I in GS3? Is it caught eye? I think it was either eyed him or like I gave him one kind of sexual but, lob. I don't know what he caught. My mom till today was trying to. He, I think he flogged me then. Trust my dad. I, 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 th- I think, I think um, my mom spoke about this. Even recently, she was like, ah, he, she mentioned it that you were like, he was like, oh, you caught eye. Mom was so baffled, like, caught oh, eye. eye. Yes. What is she caught an eye for you for? I Sam. don't know. I don't know. My dad came to school with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> was it that time you came to yes, school? Yes. I was just saying, my dad, oh, twice now, <laughs> two occasions where they fought for me. I'm still coming to that. Basically, <laughs> he came to school with a gun. Then um, he came to fight and was like, why would they beat me for something like that? That it doesn't make sense. How would I cut eye? You know, I still didn't get the description basically. But, you know, my dad, <laughs> you won't go down without a fight. I think, <laughs> I, I can't really remember how it was resolved. But I know from then, when the man sees me, is like shining tea, trying to find, bro, avoid me. <laughs> me, I didn't have any experience. Me, I was the one that was, when I came to the school, I was the one that they would always report my sister to. Hey, you are different. You are, you're calm, yeah? I'm calm. You guys know I'm calm. <laughs> the funny thing is, <laughs> I have stories for my children, basically. <laughs> People when all get experience for this, for high school. Uh, they'll just be coming to school in the morning, going back, doing assignments. 
Oh, Martina liked extracurricular activity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, well, me, I was very chilled. On the, like the only thing that happened that like my name was there was the time that someone slapped my sister when I was about to graduate. Like this one was, it was not funny. Like the whole school was just weird that day. Like that was the day that they knew my name, knew her name, knew my mother, my father. Like that day, my mom did not come. I'm even grateful that it was my dad that came. My mom is not, she's not, she's very chilled. But she does not like what she does not like. Basically, now back to that gist. <laughs> this, this gist, I mean, you have to hear every damn details of it. Basically, that morning, I remember vividly. When the hostel. Yeah, basically. Now, she came to my school. Now, eventually, she just... Now, I was in year 12, SS3. Yeah. So, I was about to graduate. And I think I was in SS1 by then. And when I was in school, I always used to use makeup. Like, I always use brown powder, black eye pencil, lip gloss. My, said... my lip gloss would be dripping. Whoa. Like, <laughs> my lip gloss would be dripping. So, I think they had started noticing that I was always using makeup. And then, people were also using makeup. And... These students were using, so ah, I just started pulling back small, 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 small. Made they not say nasty or originate drawing of eyebrow, and I would like kind of shade my eyebrows a bit. Not be today. Okay, basically, let me just give them this gist. So I came that morning, and they call. I came late. Out, I think it was in, on a Wednesday morning. I remember this day vividly. Like, I came down. They called like, oh, SS three girls. That's my sister said. Come down, said, come and kneel down, basically, or something. He, they told us to kneel down. They included myself and one of my other um, classmates, basically. Mm -hmm. So we knelt down. They complained that, oh, teachers are complaining that we're wearing makeup to school. Best believe that I do not wear my makeup. My sister did not wear makeup. I did not. I don't. But just I lip did. gloss. <laughs> and I remember that period, it was like Hamatan. Coming second term, I think. It was, it was Hamatan. It was just lip gloss. And I promise you that day, I did not even wear. No, that day you did I did wear. not even wear I any lip gloss. Lip gloss, but... I don't think I, I, I even did. I used colored lip gloss. Like, I used pink lip gloss. So. I, I, I don't even use... I didn't even use that day, honestly. So, basically, after that, I just went to get my school bag. I turned around. Went to I get think, my Loki, school bag. the guy, it was me. He was meaning. I don't even I know because now my name has gone to branches, so you can just imagine. So that that being said, I just went to get my school bag. The next thing, walking through the door, and I'm just hearing three slaps on my face. Twa. One, two, three. Eh? I just dropped <laughs> my school bag first. Started crying. That hard guy no reach there. I cried. <laughs> Baba cried. <laughs> my ear. I remember for like two days, the following week, two, three days, I didn't go to school, even oh being a boy, I didn't go to, I, uh, they had to put <laughs> eardrop, God, if you had ear pain, then you know it's very painful. Like I cried that day, when I got to the school before assembly, I still cried. The man saw me later in the afternoon, I was like basically begging me, oh, that, oh, just saying sorry that he didn't mean to, the thing, you know, come off on my mind was at that time, you know, but then. I just later I shook it all basically, and my dad has this habit of calling most time. Coincidentally, though, it's not like he planned it, but like every Friday, mostly in the evenings, he will call. You know what you need, and all of that. It's hostel now, and that that Friday, and this event happened on a Wednesday. Then the Friday of that same week, he called, and I spoke to him. I was just speaking to him normally, like almost <laughs> after prep. The next thing, tears just started rolling down my <laughs> eyes, guys. He better. This one choke me. It choked me. It choked. Ah, it not come up from my mind. But then, as I started crying, my dad was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" I said, "Daddy, daddy, daddy." He was like, "What happened? Talk." I said, "Daddy, this is what happened to the, this is what happened. This is what happened." He was like, "Are you serious?" He said, "I'm coming to the school tomorrow." If you see my dad when he's angry, he turns red. <laughs> Well, I'm coming to the school tomorrow. I said, Daddy, no problem. Me, I was happy like, hey, my daddy has action. So basically, the next day was Saturday. He didn't come. I didn't go. My mind was like, hey, God, where is this man? But he didn't come. That's fine. The following week of the, you know, school, Monday, I didn't see him. I had not even spoken to him then. Because sometimes when you request to call, it's not like immediate. So the next day, Tuesday, <laughs> the shocker. Break, short break like this. I was in class having lectures. I just went, down to, went downstairs, sorry, to the talk shop. And I got there and they were like, 
Martina, Martina, that, ah, your dad is around. I'm like, my daddy is alive. I went, I went down, I went downstairs to the reception and I just heard that my dad came. I'm also surprised, like my dad came, you know, and he came and, you know, I think he got police basically, you know, issues here and there. I was so surprised, like how come I didn't know, you know, my housemaster was basically trying to threaten my, my sister. Dad exactly yeah he came to me and then he was not trying to threaten me like me you know the cuckoo had me that time to cry for school uh, but now guy i'm a bad guy you guys should not try <laughs> no like he came to me he was just saying you leave this school yeah this and this and that this and, i don't even know what i said to him but i got very emotional i was very upset yeah my, and my sister at that time i can't forget she was also angry about her physics test um test basically I think the man gave you a 6 over 10 and you were like, you, you know you were supposed to get a 9 or 8. I can't even remember. I can't remember vividly. You were crying. Everything was just like together. But then that was just, that it was messy. I didn't do anything. You know, when I went to the police station, like it was a big deal. Like. Guys, I wrote statements in high school. I mean, I mean, <laughs> period. I mean, I wrote my first statement. I'm so proud. I ah, mean, like I will never back. forget, I was crying and I went to meet um, Stanley. I was not crying, Stanley and I think Asika, I was not talking to them. Mm -hmm. They were not trying to, like even um, uh, my class teacher, what the call his name, that was there. Yeah. Was, I, I know that he didn't, he, he didn't support what the housemaster did. Mm -hmm. But obviously, there are teachers, he can't not support He rather him. would just, you know, digest yeah, his just opinion. Like, don't worry, this yeah. and that. But other people were just, other teachers come that, ah, what happened? I'm just like... Get the hell away from me. Make you not come out for my They you see, they knew they will not come to Martina. Maybe it's my sister because she's calm. Me, nobody came to me. You carry eye for me. I carry eye for you. Omo, um, no try me. I call your school. <laughs> if I come out, you no know, get salary. <laughs> no try me. But I didn't even cry. I swear. Honestly. Uh, this one, she didn't I didn't shed cry. Given the reason there. that my dad came for me, I didn't cry. You know, yeah, I was there crying one bucket, like Lord. I remember ah. my 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 set mate. We had to watch play that night due to the fact that he was meaning me because my dad came that Tuesday. They mm. told me to. I saw you know some people trying to squeeze him. I'm like, hey, no, you can't squeeze friends from afar. Don't hear me. <laughs> you know, I'm a war. But ah. then, <laughs> ah, that that matter. Forget. Uh, that matter was where they knew my name, my son name, my middle name, knew her name, her son name, her mid fam. Huh, like, they knew my dad. Even when I saw someone like a few weeks ago, they were like, guy, can you remember? I'm like, how can I forget? I was in that situation. I and mean, the funny thing is, I think he was legit meaning me. Because, I mean, like I said, I used to wear makeup to school. So in the morning, he would see me. I mean, I have coconut head. I have to use that and lovely brown powder to pack. Whoa, that can lovely die. Yeah. That, that can lovely pancake. <laughs> I will use it to. Ah. That's what I used to score as my powder. I will put eye pencil, put black eyeliner, put lip gloss. Like, the girl was dripping. But then, after then, I mean, he, he, the matter, a little bit, I, I, I can't remember how we shook it off, but I know I didn't cry. <laughs> I'm gonna call it claws. I had claws basically, and immediately he slapped me, guys, on my knees. Like I was right, right on my knees. Just took my nails. I pierced into his hands, blood. I'm not gonna lie. I pierced. I think, and I slapped him back. <laughs> and I was actually going for prefership post. <laughs> was this he, after? I, yeah, this was. They didn't give me any issue of oh I misbehave. Aside from being so vocal. And you know, stating what I believe in. I was never mean. I was never bitter.